Okay, it seems like they've only played one actual set where it went game three and uh, Chowder won. So I think we're going to be in for a huge set here. Yeah, this could go either way, but so far the odds look increasingly in Chowder's favor. Yeah, definitely. Also, shout outs to like production because I'm loving this new layout right now. Yeah, it's all courtesy of JL, but unfortunately, yes. I, have, I have to man the whole thing right now, so. <laughs> I mean, shout outs to you too, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. And yeah, shout outs to JL. He's the TO, and he managed to like secure the venue and like, dude, new layout too. Like, this looks beautiful. Yeah. Like, I even see. <laughs> it's literally my own personal playground. It's impressive, and I think we're going to get started here. Yeah. Yeah, Chowder King, and this is. Wow, like I'm, I'm ready to see sparks fly. Like uh, this is definitely gonna be a very volatile set because like both these players can be so like punish heavy. And even though like Greninja absolutely has like a neutral advantage over like Donkey Kong King is a different breed. So we'll have to see how this goes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, okay, so Chowder's starting off pretty strong, even though it's fairly even. He had like stage control there, so that's why I thought he could maybe like pick up a lot more damage. He could snipes out the punish option. That's gonna be death. Wow, that was great recognition from Chowder because like that one panic option, like he knew if he could wait for something and get the dash attack, then he could maybe convert to a kill at 80. And you do not get to kill DK at 80 often unless you get like an edge guard, and that was not an edge guard. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and so. King definitely just looking for things right now. That's going to definitely kill. Yep. That The big monkey swing, as Marth um, names it, is very powerful. Yeah. He oh, is. Listen to the pivot jump again. Like, it feels like King is dropping like a few of these punishes here, or like a few of the openings. Like, or maybe he's just fishing really hard, but as I say that, he gets the ding dong 53%. Ooh. Including blast on damage. That's big. How did he not die? Yeah. Substitutional oh. jutsu. Comes yeah. To clutch twice. Oh, try, try get a dare. That was. I, I don't even know what Chowder did to mix him up. Like I looked, I took my eyes off the screen for a second. I thought he did up, but it looks like he did. Oh, he probably did side B. But yeah, regardless, Chowder kind of looking forward to King's stock here. But if King could kind of get some sort of offstage interaction, or just build up a little more damage slowly, he could definitely get this. Yeah. First and like, this stock is a big stock. Like, uh, okay, good down throw. Yep. Side B not hitting. That skin not be death. Donkey nope. Kong is a heavy boy. Yeah, heavy chunky boy. Chunky boy indeed. Like, yep. water? Yeah, up throw. Will not, not quite kill in. Either. Yeah, no, Greninja has some very, very situational kill throws. Oh, but and none of them are super reliable. So, yeah, yeah. that was a good counter. And uh, Chowder, Take see it. what he can do, but King is kind of, King's fiending for the stock here. Yeah. Punts and the field goal is good. <laughs> Literally, because he Field just, goal off the blast zone. Yeah, field goal off the blast zone, and it's good. He just Dude, kicks it, it like a football. That is a perfect representation of, like, football. Like, you, you already did the hard work to score the touchdown when you, like, managed to grab with DK, and now it's just a matter of getting the down throw off the blast zone before they can mash out. <gasps> oh, that oh, close. That's, close. Dude, Town saved Chowder. Yeah. Dude, if Chowder can bring this back because of Town and City, that'd be insane. Oh, he gets out of the big monkey swing. Yeah. Oh, but King kind of, King's looking poised right now. This isn't one of those things where it's like the person in the oh. lead doesn't really have any momentum. Like, King is ready. He wants to go back in grand finals to get another shot at Demon's Bay and that for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's solid. Oh, that's not going to It's not quite. Oh, oh what a oh, win! That, that was a chance Dude. to grab. Dude, they're scrapping so hard right now. Yeah, like, scrapping with DK is scary. Yeah, the difference in between them is massive. It's by... It's like 70% right now. Oh, oh this that's it, that's it. it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, no, that's... He eats the turtle even away. With, yeah, no, even with optimal DI, that's not happening. Yeah, he eats the turtle into yeah. zero. King starting off strong, game one. Yep. Yeah, um, interested, I'm interested to see how Chatter will adapt because there's a very clear game plan versus DK. Or maybe not clear, but, like, there's very clear weaknesses. Like, there's no, like... There's no, like, I don't know the matchup, you know? Like, Donkey Kong is just, like, this big hitbox that just has some weird hitboxes and, like, advantage state that if you're not ready for, you are going to get clowned on by. But I think Chowder has the ability to kind of adapt to it and maybe, like, input, like, have a lot more Donkey Kong counterplay than we've seen from him so far in this set. 
So I'm kind of counting on some of that stuff to happen right now, but King is... King's definitely not skipping the beat here. Yeah. Ooh, decided to go for a fair instead of an up air. Yeah, I think it was good because, like, he was, I think he's trying to cover a lot of DI. Because I think sometimes if the chatter DI is, like, a hard right and, like, King expects DI in, then he can miss. So I think he wanted to go for something more guaranteed. Oh. Okay, this is a big edge guard for Chowder if he can manage to make this work. That's... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you know, got good damage on it. I don't know yeah. is helping back on stage. Is there a way that... Okay, well, ne never mind. Chowder starting off strong. No, that's good stuff from him, you know? Like, uh, he's, he's definitely ready. Yeah. And yeah, that's big. That's going to be stock. That's 67% on the platform. Yeah, got me up, throwing me up there. That'll do it. Fair fight at two. So far, still not that yet. Who will be yeah. the your leader here? Uh huh. Um. Oh. So he's in a bit of a double situation. He manages to get it back here to get him off stage. Getting oh. follow up and wow, King just stole yeah. that stock. Yeah, that's super punch and a down tilt. Crazy. No, yeah, that down tilt trips so reliably, and the super punch is just a great follow up if you're ready. And you know, if anyone in the world is ready for that, it is King. Yeah. And now King back on top. That's place game pummel left and right by Chowder. Oh, yeah, no, the, the water unfortunately not connecting, but Chowder didn't even get hit that entire stock after King was at 30. Put on 120% unanswered. And now yeah. we'll see if Chowder can carry that momentum. Yeah, it's a fair fight one stock showdown, but here comes King with the down to the down beat. Ooh, he rolls his way around. Oh, oh. That's, that's scary. Whenever the DK whenever the DK hops back and like <laughs> anticipating a read, that's it. Yeah, and that headbutt that's will it. do it. King up 2-0. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's it's difficult, man. Like Donkey Kong, I think Donkey Kong's a little better than people think, even though he is a very exploitable. And like, if he can just get those punishes, like then th that's just that, you know? He just got the punishes. Yeah. He's okay. just that ready. Anyways, here we go. Game number three. King already ready. Dude, Chowder with support from the chat, too. Like, water doesn't affect DK's up at all, even if it did connect. Oh, dang. That's tragic. Yeah. I feel like that'd be a huge tool for Greninja in the matchup. Yeah. DK could just barrel on through like it was nothing. Yeah. And now we're back in town and city. <laughs> Somebody dying in the background. <laughs> that was JL Dude, suffering a loss, probably. Oh, man, poor JL. Oh, no, but so far, meanwhile. Oh, that's, you never want to see that air dodge off stage. That, that makes, just makes the whole crowd always be like, <gasps> you know? Like one of those just things where it's like you expect yeah. someone to SD or just get edge guarded. Yeah, it could have been a showstopper if executed correctly, but right now. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, what a, what a read. Yeah. I, that was so risky too, like. Oh, oh! Super punch almost did it! Dude, Chowder was so smart not to swing there because like, I feel like a lot of people would want to swing there against DK. Like, who doesn't want to use your frame dead against DK? But like, yeah. King was anticipating that and they said uh, Chowder was a little bit patient and now like, now he's gonna get the stock. Oh, not quite, never mind. Oh, there it is. I was a, that was a great read. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. Chowder on top, three to two, but the back air will make this a fair fight of two stocks. It is the hair callow, you are exactly right. He, he is, <laughs> he does have a bit of moist critical in him, like, but yeah, um, yeah, I yeah, know he's definitely playing a lot more patient now. I think, I think the game three realization has kind of hit Chowder, where it's just like, oh shoot, I'm on my second stock and it's game three and it does not look like I've just like figured things out, you know, I gotta, I gotta do something, but Chowder definitely proving me wrong here, he's, He's starting to gain good ground. Really. Yeah, no, he's definitely... Oh, that's oh, a big downer. Is, that's oh. a read. Oh, he was able to do a forwarder there, but King's have to burn his jump. Oh, no, no, not like this. Okay. Oh, okay. great deal okay. by Chowder. Never, we're good. We ball, you know? But Chowder... Oh, oh Dabby will do it. He just smacked him once and kaboom. Wow. This is... Oh, but Chowder, Chowder responding. He's, he's not out of this, not at all. It's a fair fight one stock showdown. Yeah, that was, dude, Chatter was in the lead for so long and that one down beat, like King was just ready. <laughs> yeah, King was just like, all right, here we go. One Coordination smack. kicked in. That was just, that was, <laughs> man. Yeah. That was just something for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Chatter definitely picking things up here. D does not want to go out without a fight at all. Oh, this is a big edgeguard potential, but he wasn't really ready to kind of get that. 
Yeah. Oh. Not quite. This is gonna be a bit of a pickle here for King. Chabot yeah, right definitely. But that's the opening he needed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that will. Not, not quite. Do it. No. Donkey Kong's a heavy boy, that's why I didn't say anything. I'm All like, right. he probably lives here. Yeah, heavy chunky boy. And, uh, man. Oh. <coughs> yep, uppy. Yeah, uh. Oh, and, oh dude. That oh, no! Oh! Man. oh. Man. <laughs> that's painful. <laughs> Dude, knowing you won more neutral but just got punished harder is the worst feeling ever. Yeah. But shout-outs to Chowder. What an incredible run from him tonight. Like, third place is absolutely nothing to sneeze at, and especially against the best DK in SoCal for sure. And, yeah. like, I, I, like, personally, I just think Chowder is such a special player to watch. Like, I love seeing him just, like, come here and do all this amazing stuff. Like, I can, I can always expect something new when I see Chowder's Greninja on the stage, and he definitely did just that. Shout-outs to him. Thank you so much for coming. And now we have Grand Finals, Demon versus King. The Time and time again. 